Welcome back to DXB Today, where we are exploring the problems of, uh, well, screen addiction or screen dependency as well, and the need for a digital detox to that end. Uh, bringing into the studio a number of guests, A, who have addressed it, B, who have solutions to address it, and more so than our next guest. Absolute pleasure to welcome into the studio and uh, to DXB Today, the founder of Holistified, Nassim Manari, joining us live here on the sofa. Thanks so much indeed for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I love this idea, or I don't love this idea, about being always on, but this seems to be one of the big issues and one of the buzzwords when it comes to the need for a digital detox. People saying, well, I'm always on, I've always got information mm. coursing through, etc." Why can we not just turn the always on off? Well, I guess that's just, again, like Jocelyn was saying earlier, I think it's, you know, in our, in our own makeup, in terms of being always on, it's just what we're exposed to today. Technology, uh, commitments, as mums, we're always, you know, a to-do list, you know, let's order from the supermarket, let's uh, check our email. It's just a bombardment of notifications all the time. And it's really about consciously making that decision to switch off as much as we can and like you were saying earlier on it's about you know what example are we setting to our children as well so you know it's very easy for me to you know go home and say you know to my daughter get off your ipad it's time to you know do something else play outside but then again when i'm overwhelmed with doing my own thing whether it's catching up with work or other tasks tasks that we have to do that are online it's really really very challenging yeah, we've all yeah. Been, yes. here's your ipad yes, exactly <laughs> yeah. yes yeah so well, one thing that we think about as well and not a lot of people are talking about is radiation that comes out of these devices like iphones mm -hmm. phones in general mm -hmm. ipads laptops headphones and i see that you've got a device over there that's really interesting and i want to know more about it so can you please i do indeed through? well <laughs> i mean again as a founder of holistified i'm naturally speaking, hence the name, into you know everything that's alternative, holistic. And yeah. one of the main things that I've done a lot of research on is you know the exposure. Mm -hmm. Forget about the mental and emotional um, issues that arise from using technology, but yeah. the physical potential dangers. And there's been a number of you know clinical studies that actually prove that our exposure and overexposure to uh, electromagnetic radiation is really causing big big issues yeah. with our health so this is you know different different issues that are not you know spread uh, you know ac across you know the media yeah. uh, on a on a daily basis perhaps people want to keep that on the sidelines but it's something that's really and that i'm passionate about and i've got this device with me today that really measures the level of radiation so i've got to. the iphone 12 and i know so many articles has been out regarding that saying that it's the most iphone with the radiation so i wanted to test that because it's always right next to me when i sleep it's affecting tom already <laughs> well, i'm just tom trying to get myself i'm pretty radioactive myself so maybe do you want me to hold it or yes no, are you i can, gonna hold, I can it? hold yeah. it here so that the viewers can actually see so I can't actually see what the reader's showing, but again, it's measured in uh, microwatts. Okay. So again, we're all exposed to, to this. Even if I put it down here, my phone, we're all exposed to this. So believe it or not, I'll switch it off so our viewers don't get interrupted by the beeping. After only five minutes radiation. of using a mobile phone, our blood begins to coagulate. Okay. So the, oh, wow. the dangers are really, I, I just, would really urge the viewers to, to actually do some research on this. And again, you know, a lot of us sleep with mobile phones beside us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're with I AirPods in our ears. Well, that's another one. I mean, again, do some do some research on it. They say you may as well just put your head in a microwave. Wow. That's how, okay, that's okay. how so bad they are. <laughs> on to my question then. What are some of the worst and most dangerous habits that we have? So sleeping, I, I feel like I know a lot of people who sleep with music in their ears. I do too. Um, <laughs> when I have bad anxiety, and yes. this is terrible, but when I wake up and I have bad anxiety, one of the ways that I calm myself is I watch The Office or Friends and I, and I have my AirPod mm. in and I often fall asleep listening to the shows, but there's just something calming about them mm. and they help me go to sleep. But that's dangerous apparently and I shouldn't be doing that. Yes. <laughs> Red flag again. Yeah. Yes. So again, you know, there's the, the, the mental health element, em emotional health element. And again, what we're exposed to physically really, I mean, I think in about 30 or 40 years from now, I think that's when we'll really, really understand the repercussions of what we're exposing ourselves to. And more importantly, our children, you know, yeah. iPads on your laps. Uh, again, there's a lot of research that shows it has uh, proven to, to show that there's problems with reproduction, fertility in 
So I right now, an iPad on my lap, should I have a pillow? Like, is that going to make a big difference? No. Okay, no. what's going to, like, what are the solutions? Because it needs to be manageable, well, again, right? Like, we are going to be using iPads. We are going to be using our phones. Yes. Um, what, what, what are the alternative options? Well, again, it's limiting time, you know, going through everything that we've discussed or that you've discussed on the show uh, prior to me coming on, which is, you know, trying to limit our time as much as possible, but also, you know, just being aware of, you know, I'm always telling my daughter, you know, keep the iPad away from you, watch it, have, put it on the table, don't have it, at, you know, close proximity to you, but also um, just really having the devices away from us when we're asleep at night. I think this is a, a really interesting point yes. because I certainly noticed for myself, mm. I for many years slept with a phone under my pillow. Sleep was terrible. Oh the goodness. moment I removed it, like it was a noticeable difference in the sleep. Mm. Absolutely. So, and the worst is if you have it plugged in while you're sleeping, that's very dangerous. <laughs> that's so what should, I do as well. Know, that, that's something you should definitely avoid. But I've noticed that in my life. Certainly. Everything you guys have said is pretty much everything I do in my day-to-day -day life. It's honestly a S small step, slow and steady. I feel like a lot of people do as well. I don't think I'm alone in this. Yeah. But isn't that? I mean, isn't that part of the reason that you set up Holistified in the first place? In the sense that we all have these shared sort of issues that maybe we need to be addressed. I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Holistified is a platform that is looking at the extraordinary growth of the sort of holistic mm -hmm. availabilities or holistic options out there. And it might not just be tech related, it mm -hmm. might be to do with wellness or, or, or diet or otherwise. Is that mm -hmm. why you created Holistified? Yeah, I, I really saw a gap in the market here, especially in the UAE. When I moved here about 25 years ago, everyone was a personal trainer. Yeah. <laughs> now today, everyone is a coach. It could be, you know, a, a, a marital guidance coach, a gut health coach, parenting coach. So I really wanted to really create a platform where people our professionals were vetted, make sure that they're properly licensed, qualified, and you know have their services available on the platform. And the other part of the platform is actually a marketplace where we do have wellness products, and we do have wellness products that are um, very much geared to protecting us against radiation, but obviously viewers can go on to Holistified and have a look at that too, but really everything to do with the eight pillars of wellness, yes. Thank you so much, Nasima. You have, once again, great insight, great advice, and we really appreciate you. I think a lot of advice that's going to benefit a lot of people watching today. Um, so we're going to keep you right here on the couch for a second while I throw over to Ahmed for a DXB in 60. We have got DXB in 60 for you. Just to, you know, last time it was something completely different, but now it's getting to know you much better. Okay. So we're going to ask you a couple of questions in 60 seconds, and let's go. I'm going to cue the <laughs> clock in three, two, one. If you weren't a content creator, what industry would you be working in? Ooh, I think I would be in watches. Watches, so, okay. Yeah. Mm. What would be your motto in life and work? Mm. Um, you're going to die one day, so give it your best today. Okay, nice. What is uh, your dream collaboration? I think my dream collaboration would be with an existing tech YouTuber, okay. somebody called Marquez, MKBHD. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any hidden talents? Um, <laughs> hidden talents is I, I do a good uh, fry up, apparently. Okay. To we should try it next time you come <laughs> to the show. <laughs> <when you're coming laughs> the last thing you Googled? The last thing I Googled <laughs> was the directions to, the to come here. <laughs> yeah. And what is the most used app on your phone? The most used app on my phone is Instagram. And one last question. Why Dubai? Why Dubai? Because why not Dubai? I mean, it's an incredible place. Lots of amazing people, lots of great opportunities as well. Well, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me again. I'm Grant Khan, thank you enough for being our guest co-host today. Have thank you enjoyed you it? Again. I thoroughly enjoyed it. We'll have you yeah. back soon, that's for sure. Definitely. And a big thanks to you for your insights. Uh, and of course, Nassim, thank you very much indeed to you yeah, as well. Sure. Really thanks kind for of having you for me. Coming in. Big thanks to uh, you for your insight. Listen, uh, we have got plenty more to look forward to right here on DXB today. In fact, live performance in studio with Pasha in just a few moments' time. Stay tuned.